how you do it. He gave him the spoils. Ladies and gentlemen, guess what? If you've been paying attention to our Hoonigan Project Garage channel, you know we're building a bunch of cars. Well, you know what happens when you build a bunch of cars? Inevitably, you have a bunch of parts left over. Hey, we still have parts on the eBay store now? You know what, that's right, Ronald, we are. Hoonigan eBay store is coming back. It's actually live right now. You can still buy merch, you can buy all sorts of good stuff, but this is gonna be our digital swap meet where you can get some of the choicest nugs from Hoonigan, stuff like this. We got superchargers. <sighs> they do not make that light. Parts like this, or this, like this, or that, or how about this, this, and this, and how about this? A whole plethora of car parts and rare one-off Hoonigan memorabilia that you wouldn't be able to buy elsewhere. So head to the link below, check it out. First one starts June 17th, but we still got merch up for sale there too. So check it out now. Welcome to this versus that down under special. Thanks to our friends at NOS Energy Drink. That's right, the Kudamundra Conquerors are here today. In effect, railroad breaking, ground breaking. I can't even get my words straight, so let's get shaking. Gary had too many meat pies. Let's go check out the cars. If you're wondering, I have no idea what this car is. Either do I. Who are you and what'd you bring here? So, my name's Jesse from Keeper Eight, and this is our 2000 Ford Falcon AU. <laughs> What is this car? What is a Ford Falcon? We don't so, get these in the US, so. They're a little bit of the ugly duckling. You might catch your grandma driving around in them. Sort of affordable manual rear wheel drive cars. Oh, so, so this came manual yep, rear yep. wheel drive with the turbo six? No turbo. So they're a six cylinder non-turbo engine. Well, let's talk about that first. You say you uh, slapped turbo on it. Let's look at this thing. Ooh, okay, so. so Oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the motor that came in the car? Yep, this is the motor that comes in the car. She's got 300,000 Ks on it, unopened. This one? Yep. Nice. Yep, big turbo, 15 PSI, and okay. it loves it. So what, what is it? It's a four so liter a, straight six. Yeah, four liter straight six, single cam. It's the baby brother of the uh, Barrow motor that you might've heard of before. Oh, okay. So the Barrow's yeah. dual cam VCT. This is sort of the underdog motor. But um, yeah, still lots of torque and lots of fun. Air conditioning? Uh, yep, still got air con. Nice. <laughs> All right, pretty simple setup. What ECU? Stock ECU with a $200 chip in it. A chip. Perfect. J3 chip. Nice. Local guys down in Melbourne, so yeah. Any idea what power it makes? Probably around like the 350 horsepower mark. Okay. But it's got a lot of torque. It feels like 650 Newton meters. What do so these weigh? That's a great question. Roundabout, like what do you- 1500 kilo. Yeah. In pounds, <laughs> I don't know. Whatever that is. All right, well, let's, let's look at the outside of this thing. What fender is this? So it's a standard Fairlane fender, and then we get these the weld-on flares. They come really big. You cut them down, mold them like into Like a suit, universal flare, yeah. Yeah, yeah. cut it. them down and make them how you want them, and then... Yeah, and you were saying you, you do the fab yeah, work, yeah. so you welded them, you did the body yep. work, you painted the whole car. I do absolutely everything down at Keep It Right for our YouTube channel, and um, yeah, it's a bunch of fun, and... Nice. Really cool stuff like this. Well, you know what I appreciate is that you do your own body work, you do your own paint work, and then you just destroy it. <laughs> like, you yeah. know how hard this was to make it work, and you're just out here burning up your paint. It's the mustache. That's right. character. Then you got some VSKFs. Yeah, got some big Johnnies on the back there, VSKFs. I think they're 18 by 11 and a half, plus five-ish. We'll go with that. Sure. <laughs> All right, so you got a molded drag wing. These look like they're not from this car. <laughs> yeah, so the JZX 100 taillights and rear bar, it just seemed to be easier to uh, get how, the chaser taillights. How is it easier to put a different taillight <laughs> on the car? Well, that's chill. 
That's chill. The standard tail lights look very gross, so we had to change it. Yeah, then just a sheet metal welded on and molded lippus and eBay roof wing. This is actually from the boss man Jason's Mark II in Japan. It's the actual rego plate off it. So we sort of made this car to resemble it. It's the same color and livery and everything like that. So. Nice. What do we got going on inside? What we got going on in here? She's pretty standard. We bought it as a gutter drift car. We actually put some aftermarket carpet back in. Got the crispy nardy. <laughs> some $50 gauges, can't go wrong. Got the hydro, because it is a drift car. Yeah. Half cage, rear seats and... Cage with a rear seat, how polite of you. <laughs> That's great. And we just recently put the uh, TR6060 six speed. Oh, of... okay, so you're not running a stock trans. Well, no, nah, they come with a five speed gearbox, so we just put a little bit stronger one in that comes out in the later model Falcons. Oh, shit, yeah. okay. Cool. Mm. All right, well, uh, let's go look at what you're going to race today. <laughs> well, this may be the best partnership we've ever had. Bunch of city boys like us getting to use farm equipment. Yeah, Hoonigan partnered with Kubota, a tractor company. We know that might sound a little weird at first, but they've supported Ken on his racing program for a couple years in the past. And this year, as we launch our event series, Gymkhana Grid, they're gonna be an integral partner of helping us set up courses with massive obstacles and moving them from city to city. But mostly, Kubota's known for stuff like this, like being on farms. I'll let Zach tell you more about that. So while you may recognize Kubota from their unmistakable orange accents, they make a lot of cool stuff. Namely, those RTV Xs are the nation's number one selling diesel utility vehicle. Wild. And let's say you want to pick yourself up one of these bad boys like this M7 here. You can go to KubotaUSA.com. There's a link in the description below too. And it's got AC. Might just start daily in one of these. I've been waiting to see this car in action for a long time. So if you want to introduce yourself to the people and Tell us what you've brought here. I'm Jake Myers. This is my 1966 Mustang, Sicko. This car is iconic in the burnout scene. I mean, it's been around for what, 40 years now? Yeah, yeah, my old man, he's been doing it for 40 years. I've taken over. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this setup because I mean, this is wild. Like this looks like basically a full blown drag car. So it's a 302 Cube Windsor. It's a 302 Stroke, little field blower, 671. Uh, all mechanically injected, so ports and hat. Okay. So that gives you maximum, you know, you get all your cylinders perfect at parties. Nice, 302, so it's a pretty small displacement. Are you using a Ford block or are you using like an aftermarket? So this block? is aftermarket, so this is a Windsor Mano wall block. Okay. Um, yeah, full cast, uh, cast heads, does the job. Wait, cast like yeah. iron? Iron block, yeah, it's full Iron cast. block and iron heads? Yep. Wow, okay. Yep. What do you normally run this at when you're in competition mode? As far so as RPM? depending on the comp, you know, we have different chips for the, the RPM. So it depends, from Summonats we put a 9000 chip, some other comps where it's not so competitive, we just put 8,000 just to be safe. There's some other tricks. I mean, you got like the billet pro mag on here, but like, a, what's like, explain some more of this because there's more that goes yeah, in there. Yeah, so what it is, is it's actually a top fuel pro mag 20. Um, it makes enough power to electrocute you and most likely give you a heart attack. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So you got the big pump on the front, runs off the cam. Yep. Um, and then we just got a dry sump build daily uh, pump down there, which then delivers all the oil to the engine. Now, does it run pretty high compression or? 10.5 compression, pushes about a thousand horsepower at 20 pounds of boost. Keyword, wow. Yeah. That's a lot for a little 302. Yeah. Let's step to the back and let's get into some of this suspension work. Now, I take it you're not gonna be running on these tires because no. there's no way you'd get any traction, but this is your typical skid car setup, right? Yeah. So what is, is this just like a spare with a tiny little? So this is actually a EL spare. They're just a 15 inch rim. We just run a retreaded tire, which makes extra smoke. Inside of here, it looks like there's like a, I mean, there's obviously a ton of rubber, but that's all solid. Yeah. What's, so 
what so we've reinforced all the inner guards and underneath the back, there's actually a big uh, slicer here underneath the back that actually cuts the, the rubber off because it will just bash in your rear quarters. Ah, yeah. so you have like a sharpened piece of steel yeah, back there so much. it doesn't, when it de Yeah, it damages the rear end and stuff, so. Nice. Yeah. And, and then uh, for the rear suspension, what do you- It's just a Ford 9-inch. Okay. Um, it's just got uh, level shocks. It's nothing too flash hot, just a full link. It's no race car, you know, doing speed trials or nothing, so. No race car, yeah. just a thousand horsepower. Yeah. <laughs> Interior-wise, this actually looks really nice. Well, the interior is done in actually 2000. We'd redone it, it was all white and with like fluffy interior. Like my old man, he was pretty cruisy back in the day and I thought all black because all the rubber, it stains the white, so. Of, of course. Yeah. I noticed you got a full race pack set up. Uh, you know, I noticed you're running um, EGTs, uh, EGTs yep. in every cylinder. So you do all that yourself? We've got our electrician. He does all that stuff, helps us out. I've got my head around all the race pack stuff. So we tune it ourselves and it seems the whole rod's in. So yeah. must be doing something right. I also noticed you're running the uh, the, the new Hoonigan shift knob on the- Yeah, uh, yeah, no, it's um, got that on the Hoonigan website. So if you want one, go jump on there and grab one. Buy some shit. What trans are you running in this? So this is a two-speed power glide. Okay. All the good internals to spin it to 9,000. What does that normally cost, like, to build? A new one, about six to seven grand. Okay. But prices okay. have gone up, you know? Yeah. But they've had this in here for over five years. Really? At 9,000 RPM. But the converter's a big thing too, TCE torque converters. They look after to that, and it's never had a drama. Yeah. I like the What's Up Haters uh, brake pedal. You gotta have that, you know, with the following and people yeah okay <laughs> no comment <laughs> I, I plead the fifth i'm very curious to see if this thing will actually hook up at all uh i doubt it but you know what we'll Whatever. give it a go you're gonna send you it know, that's it we'll send it are you gonna send it for us you have to wait and see <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one car has a motor that's taller than the roof, and the other one has taillights off of a different car. I'll go with the one with the taillights. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with Jake. I'm not gonna bet against a blown V8. I don't even care if he wins. I just got off the shitter. It's a big ass Mustang versus whatever that is. I'm not gonna go against that Mustang, bro. Look at that thing. Do we look the same? Do we look the same? <laughs> Can you pick me up? I'm scared. when to shift your car when you have that thing next to it. I can't hear myself thing from a quarter mile away. You got this honker of a f***ing blower and he's just getting... <laughs> what? You give know what? Us... We should change this race into you have to power skid the whole way. You have to power... I like that. Just this give a... it a full-blown beans pass. New rules for this round. Both of you have to full-blown power skid the whole way. <laughs> There's, there's, this, is not, no. this is not a race unless tires are smoking. She might, she might hook up a little bit, but I'll give it a I shot. Don't the <laughs> Take that shit we don't need the Power skid the entire way. Can you do that? Full deck head.
Heck yeah. That's, a race. That's how you do it. That's <laughs> how mean, you do it. I don't know if that was a race, but it was something. I can't see none of this. I can't. This the look mountains like disappeared. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many cars you win by. As long as you make this motherfucker look like Independence Day with Will Smith when he's walking off. Yeah. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. All right, so that was that was rowdy. Okay, <laughs> I like that. that. Yeah. Now, obviously, uh, there's no way this thing's getting traction ever. <laughs> like, you got a radial tire on it, and it's not even that big. You beat him by we don't know how many cars. You know, by a cloud. You won. Cloud. You beat him by <laughs> one cumulo nimbus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you want to do a roll race, or would that be way too sketchy? Well, yeah. I can't say yeah. no more racing. Yeah, we'll do another roll race. Do you oh, want to do a roll? Crack. What do you think? Yeah. Like 20, 30 mile an hour. 80, 100, 4, Yeah, the same here, so... Yeah. Why yeah, don't we just go? Right, you guys just go? Yeah. You go off his lead. Yeah, all right. Let's do that. Yeah. You got shake Let's on it. it. Let's go, bro. All right. <laughs> Last <laughs> round bonus. Are we going to go to 1,000 feet? Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You're going to get chopped off. Oh, oh. Talking big shit. You have seen nothing yet. <laughs> bonus round. Right? Really? He humbled that boy real quick. Damn. <laughs> right? He was talking, you want to get shot? You ain't getting shit, boy. Damn. I mean, honestly, that, maybe I that expected Mustang's it to a roll just race pull. car. Yeah. Maybe he needs to come out to one of your events. <laughs> <laughs> Crocky. Woo! 9,000 RPM blown V8 sound. Spicy. What happened? Man, I thought you were chopping trees, bro. Yeah, no, no. no. <laughs> he gave you the spice. <laughs> he gave, <laughs> gave you the spice. He gave him the spice. Yeah, he unleashed the spice. Ooh, this is like watching Trailer Park Boys in real life. <laughs> I'm glad we could, you know, figure out something that worked. Obviously, oh, good job. <laughs> well, look, boys. Obviously, we came here to party, and so did you. Yeah, I'm a bit of a choreographing type of guy. I like to party. Like Show us a quick dance. dance and stuff, right? I like a good. Time. I ain't doing that, All right? What if you? on a static burnout, you drift around him twice while he's static, and then you take off munging that way, and then you rip into a huge burnout. Yeah. Give it a shot, as long as we can see through the smoke, but should yeah, be right. Just don't it. go, no, don't go too big to begin with. Worst case drift scenario, drift you, you take a reckon? big gulp of methanol in, yeah. and then you pass out. Hey. Definitely can't afford to replace that. Well, when you you out. Out. <laughs> just make sure when you take off, you really keep going, yeah. and then he'll just go ballistic. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. Like this, yeah. a moving donut. Let the games begin. This is pretty thought. Snug fit on me, that says anything. Ooh. Boss! Screw it. I ain't never in my life. What the, dude, this is like a two foot deep hole. Are you okay? I'm good, Matt. I'm good. <laughs> what the f Is my rim all right? Uh, it's, it's choppy, but it's not bad. You good? Sorry, man. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? You good? Yeah. Yeah, that's all that matters, man. In typical fashion, no man left behind. Even though his drive shaft sounds like a Jamaican bobsled team sliding down. He still got two runs in, and he's happy. Good day, Ben. Good day. Race like this just never happens. If we laid Gary down sideways, is it more than one Gary? 